construct a relative frequency histogram for this data. Okay, in order to construct a relative frequency histogram, um, we have to use the relative frequency on the vertical axis because that's given to us. Well, we have a choice between either the class limits, the class midpoints, or even the class boundaries for the horizontal axis. I tend to use the class midpoints more than anything else. That's what I'm going to do here. So I need a couple of axes here. All right, for my horizontal axis, I'm using my class midpoints. So I'm just going to type those in right here. And as always, this is just for, you know, this program just kind of helps me create these axes and things like uh, so that they're readable on screen. And, you know, what you can do with on paper is, you know, just as effective here. All right, but I'll need a vertical axis for relative frequency. The relative frequency goes between 0 0.033 and 0.3. So I think if I just uh, mark these off, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.3. And that's a vertical. All right, now uh, I just need to draw in some bars here. So, uh, let's see. All right, 44.5, it has a relative frequency of 0 0.033. So that's not gonna be a very tall bar at all. We like that. Then 0.1. that tall, then 0.167, just a little bit past halfway between 0.1 and 0.2, all right, then 0.2, all right, 0.3, And 0.2 again. And there we'd have a relative frequency histogram.